I always maintain that if you go into a room, the more wood paneling in the room, the more trouble you're in. Because there were uh. there was paneling on the roof. There, there was lots of Emmys. Like, it, you knew you were going into a room that you don't normally get to go into. And I just remember that our boss at the time, Bob Eaton, started banging on the desk. and Like Khrushchev. <laughs> you know, well, <laughs> and I, I'm thinking... I, I, I got three little kids at home. I, I, I can't lose this gig. And I remember that we were threatened with our jobs, and we walked out, and I'm just mortified. Like, I'm deer in the headlights. And Oberman goes, F him. I go, what? Well, that would be him. F, F him. That go, would be my high school uh, yeah. chum. That would be him. And he, it, it, it brought us closer together. Hmm. We didn't care, and we just said we're going to do it our way. As long as we can continue to do it, and but that was the one moment where it's sort of interesting because they said, and I've said this before, and I, I want to tell you this because I never want it to be construed as negative. They said we don't want another Berman because they knew that you had gotten to a status, you had created, you, you know, you had a brand before brands were popular. Mm. They were worried we were going to be seceding from the union, and that's why I say. <laughs> then they go, we don't want another Berman, and we're thinking, why wouldn't you want another Berman? And, well, but that was that management took us to task. They there. shouldn't have been scared of, of any of it. But that's that's. Well, you played nice though. You were good. You were a great team player. We have to be an actor every. No, <laughs> I'm, 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 I, no, 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 no. I'm because I start. I mean, look, we there are only seventy or whatever the number were of us in seventy nine and eighty, and we we really had the mortar and the bricks and. But you stayed there. That's why I, yeah, I I'm did. thrilled I, that I, they I, named I, the studio after you and Tommy. And I hope they do something for Tommy Mees. I hope that they yeah, name I'm the newsroom. You. I've been trying to get that behind the scenes where I do, now it's not anymore, but I just want them to acknowledge Tom Mees and you and Bob Lee because without you guys, everybody wants to work there now, but without you guys, it wouldn't exist. Well, that's nice you to say, it would Dan. Not. It, it would, but it was a great idea. We happened to be Bob and Tommy was a couple years older. Bob and I are at the same age within a couple months, so we were 24 and we're completely different people, as you know, yes. but but total respect. I mean, Bob Lee, I mean, he keeps us honest. Yes, he you does. Yes. Uh, I don't know that the same can be said of, of me or when you guys were there. I'm, I'm, I'm playing now, but you're you're too kind in that. But explain this to me, though, Chris. We go ahead. When I was observing, remember, the, remember the, the Charlotte Observer. Remember, I, yeah, you, I you were like that hey, long the time. Charlotte Observer. And I go, yeah. <laughs> so man. you got a nickname before you were on. I did. <laughs> don't you appreciate what that was? <laughs> Not okay. everybody can say that. Okay, but you know in the newsroom there where you had all the wall of monitors. Yes. Now explain to me this. There'd be a game and 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 then porn. Well, not <laughs> don't, I didn't have the, Soft the, the core clicker. Porn. <laughs> I, I didn't know. I, you knew who had the clicker? Tim Brando. See, now <laughs> I... I, well... Yeah, and I thought, okay... I can neither <laughs> confirm nor deny. <laughs> no, I don't. I, and it was not, it's not like you think it is, uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a manual or something like that, right, Fritzy? You know that. That's exactly what they <laughs> Yeah. It, it was, nah, it was whatever. It was a little Wild Wild West-like, though. Uh, well, look, we were, it was still in the age when, hey, look. The Royals game is on tonight. Like, not every team was yeah. on. And so it would be a Wednesday night in the mid late 80s. Yeah. And, and maybe five teams had their midweek game on. New York or Boston was always on. But the, hey, we got the Royals. We get to see the, the Padres. Yeah, you know, the, the, the Pods are playing the Giants. It's coming in. And it was just, it's kind of, it was still, are, really, are we still here? You know, we, there was still a little sense of wonderment. If that's the right word. But I don't know if we knew who was watching. Well, but I'll tell you, as you found out very quickly, and you probably did before you came over to us, that you'd run into people in odd places, yeah. especially early in my career. That's when I, because I did the 230, or first three, but the 230 show. And I remember being out on the West Coast, Dan, in early 80s, and you sit down to eat. And the waiter would come over and say, so what does the Swami want to drink? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Like, this is early 80s. Like, yeah. who's, oh, they're watching out west. So you, I'd get great letters. And this is long before married, the Catholic kids. I mean, from uh, husbands 
in Iowa, thank goodness you're on because at 2 a.m. when I'm feeding the baby, I'm watching your show. Yeah. I'm, and I'm thinking, who would get up at 2 o'clock in the morning to feed the baby? Like, what? what, what is this? And I'm serious. The, back then, you got letters to kind of inform you what was going on. So you never know. My message to everyone coming to our place now, there's somebody watching somewhere that, that could be big time, could be little time you're making an impression on. You don't know why or where they are, but they're there. Uh, Paulie, did you get in trouble? I've always wanted to tell you this, Chris. I actually got put in detention in eighth grade. I, when you used to do Joaquin, the dog Anduhar, we all loved you. I was in a history class, and I made a joke of the answers. I put Abraham and Cheese Lincoln, and I got detention that day. <laughs> detention? And, it, and I said it was because I High watched— High school or college? Eighth grade. Oh, eighth grade. College, I'm worried about you, but uh, <laughs> but, I, but eighth grade, man. Now that, that I, look, I was proud of it. Keep, it, it that's, that's very good. I mean, you could go George Carr Washington. You could do whatever you. I never quite did that when I majored in history at Brown. I didn't quite do that, although we did have nicknames at the time. But thank you for that. My pleasure. We're going to look up who that teacher was and re-educate. <laughs> Chris will be hosting ESPN special postseason NFL countdown. That'll be at uh, 11 a.m. Eastern and then uh, NFL primetime. Uh, so the NFL primetime is. No, no because. Okay. Okay. I just. The NFL, well, moving forward, it'll seem like, whoa, the, the fall is completely different because, as you know, you can't say we'll do the football show week one, three, eight, ten. That'll fit into my. No, no, no. You're either swimming in the deep end or you're not. Yeah. But I'm going to do the Super Bowl prime times from the field moving forward. I'm going to do championship game prime time. So oh, good. there'll be still some highlights, and I'll be around, just not as prevalent, if that's the right word. I mean, you got glasses on. You know what prevalent. I can you know? see. And, and, yes, um, I can see. And it'll be different in the fall. But honestly, I, I will say this. Because up until September, not that much is going to change. I'm not doing the draft. It's Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm not doing the home run derby. That's okay. Not that I don't, but it's, it's, that's okay. So, but now September comes, they're going to kick it off. I'm going to remind myself what I was at 20, aspiring to cover pro football and be Brent at 62 when I'm Sunday ticket and this. I don't have to relearn why I like it, but I'll watch like the consumer that I was 40 years ago. Yeah. And I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay there. I'll miss the action. I'll miss being in the middle, but I, I, I still love football, and I, I never soured on my job. And, but it's okay. It, forty years of it. I've carried the ball thirty-five times a game for forty years. I'll see you next year at this time, if you'd like. Chris Berman. Um, I don't know if there's an easy way to say, but other than thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, and thank you. Thanks, Dan. All right, we'll come back. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.